Hey everyone, welcome to Infinite Realms, and today I'm going to review that all-around loving character, Strong Guy. To me, Strong Guy is one of the most unsung characters in the Marvel Universe. He seems ridiculous and is very has a lot of depth. To get my point on that, if you have never read the Peter David run of X Factor, the first one, when it was Havoc, Pol Polaris, Strong Guy, Wolf's Bane, Multiple Man, that run really cemented my enjoyment of Strong Guy. I really understood the character after watching Peter David work with him, and he became so interesting to me. And in, I have to admit, I don't think he's been near as interesting since that run. That is my opinion, though. Okay? I'm, that's just my opinion. So, here he is, and he has wonky proportions, but so does his character. If you do not know why, I will explain now. When what he does is, is he do he redirects kinetic energy into uh, fists. You know he can hit back as hard as he gets hit, and even harder. And the first time this power manifests, he got hit by a school bus. the The thing is, if he does not unleash this power, it will increase his body mass, <laughs> and. That's what happened. He per it permanently increased his body mass, and it will eventually become permanent with him. Um, I remember one at one um, issue. Um, he got hit exceptionally hard, and it was like it was causing him physical pain to absorb that much energy, and he just literally had to beat his fist into the ground to release it to to stop so it would stop hurting because apparently it's very painful for him to hold that energy too so <laughs> learning a lot about strong guy today aren't you <laughs> and yeah now you see and i hopefully when i'm talking about this you're seeing why i like the character also my recollection is he is always in pain anyway and that's kind of why he's a jokester is because you know it helps him deal with the pain and he, perfectly understandable character trait like it uh so yeah and i mean he's one of the few characters i think really works in his x-force outfit because i looked previously at havoc and lorna in their x-force outfits and i'm like no i just don't like it i never liked havocs never never did havoc i'm always back to that simple black for me that that's what i go with and um but strong guy i thought his outfit was different enough to warrant it it was okay so i went with it and of course his bulk is very well translated into the sculpt now i seem to remember his legs being smaller and that made sense in this context of the story because he got hit in the upper body by the bus uh, from what i remember his origin story being so but you know if they made him too much smaller I, I don't think the figure could stand so I'm letting that go that's fine and again it's he's got that little spit curl in the front and he has that big grin on the face yeah you just gotta love it so ultimately you know yeah his his bulk does limit his articulation but you know what his bulk limits his movement so that's in character I'm not upset about that in the slightest it doesn't bother me i think he looks pretty good i definitely like this build a figure again this was one i was just building my my collection and then i noticed i was buying several that had parts to strong guy and i just would grab some more and you know see my uh deadpool blue and yellow that i never intended to buy until well we'll get into that later anyway strong guy i'm actually going to give five stars to this one because i just think it's perfect i mean it matches his character perfectly this is his character in figure form and that's what's important about it now a lot of people didn't like this figure because they didn't like the look a strong guy 
da 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 but you know you don't have that affinity for that character either if you've not read that story because the first time i saw strong guy i was like who the hell is this you know now that i've read that story and i understand strong guy i see him differently so that might affect how you look at this action figure because this is very much character um you know this is very much on character for this character for some comparisons let's uh take a look at daredevil and spider-man of course because why not and then let's compare them with some of the bigger figures like thanos um and you know he, i think that's about right for him that's about his height and about his girth and then you know for an even bigger character let's compare him to hulk obviously he's not going to be as big as hulk but you know he's going to be pretty big again five stars this is just perfect representation of strong guy now that's really all i can say i really like it and that's it glad it's in my collection and i think you understand why i'm glad it's in my collection so that'll wrap it up for infinite realms uh, don't forget to like and subscribe